My name is Grace Lillian Lee and I'm a descendant of the Miriam Mer people of the Eastern Islands of the Torres Strait. It's really exciting to represent our Torres Strait Island people and culture in this piece. Uncle Ken taught me the weave and we really wanted to ensure that that was going to come out within our collaboration. We wanted to play on both of our strengths and what I really admire about Uncle Ken and the similarities of our work is that we work with body adornment and dressmaking. You know, he started out with dressing dance troops. His work is very interactive and speaks to the body. My work, I love to express culture through activations of body adornment. We had this idea of creating the body sculpture that would be internal of the diary, but for the diary to be something that, you know, breaks apart and spins around and is quite an interactive piece to, to see many different things within the sculpture. And so then we talked about the idea of the diary representing the fish trap. There's black and white because it represents the rocks and then the water flowing in and out and it's muddied water. So he wanted this grey effect coming throughout the piece. This diary address represents it's the fish trap of Daniela and it represents our culture when you perform dancing. You put the diary on our head and you start to dance. No woman have to wear that, only men wear the dairy edges. There's two symbols on the dairy edges. One is the mouth of the shark, the jaw, and the top of the dairy. When you look through the mirror, you can see octopus. And you can see the young eyes you going around, you see all the fingers of the octopus it's moving around. The sculpture is actually created with the same materials that diaries are created with, which are um, different kinds of feathers. So this one in particular is goose feathers with cane that has been wrapped. The feathers represent the fish that swim in and out of the fish traps and the bottom of the diary is the opening. And then the mirror underneath the sculpture represents the reflection of water. So we wanted this experience of people being able to walk around the diary and also to be able to see the relationship with the shark and the octopus within the fish trap. This collaboration means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Uncle Ken Thayde has been a mentor of mine for the past 11 years. And I saw this young lady walk to the, the gallery. She was looking at the wall, looking at the side and she walked straight at me. I was sitting there as I do my work and I looked this lady come in and I said, hello. She came straight in front of me, she said, do you know anyone can teach weave? I said, grab your seat, you sit next to me. And that's when we start. She's very smart, she pick up so quick. That's when she followed me to do this, I said to Grace, you some lady, you're so special to me. I love the way you do things. You listen to me, you understand. And like I said, you're going to be like me one day. Keep going. But today I can see you. I attribute my success to Uncle Ken because he shared um, his knowledge with me. Um, the weave is all because of Uncle Ken. It's been a great sense of um, healing for my family to be able to interact and learn more about who we are and where we come from to you know grow as a family and as my own person to understand who I am and where I come from.